It's the final of the BNP Paribas Open 2015, and the top two players in the world have made it to the big dance for the second year running, for the first time in the tournament's history. Defending champion and world number one Novak Djokovic against 17-time Grand Slam champion Roger Federer. Both men were evenly matched in the opening set as each tried to make inroads and the others serve. There it is. Phenomenal tennis. Raining down forehand winners at the moment. It's going to be key for him. Opportunities passed by for both men, but it was Djokovic who made the first breakthrough. Oh, it's good tennis. After 63 minutes, the defending champion had set point. It's an excellent set of tennis. Dominance on serve. After holding serve in the first game of the second set, Federer looked to apply pressure on the Djokovic serve immediately. It's good smash again. But the world number two couldn't convert, and in the very next game, the tables were turned. Federer not able to get his feet out of the way of the ball there. Djokovic just had to keep holding serve and the championship would be his once more. Oh yes! A moment of Federer magic there. There's the break. It's been a long time coming. Federer was back on level terms and a tie-break would determine the outcome of the second set. Federer handed Djokovic the mini-break with an error, but he still hung around. Oh, no way! Djokovic had two points on serve to seal the win, but after one double fault, he threw in another. I mean, he's challenging here just to be absolutely sure, but what a lifeline for Federer. has done it, a set full of drama and excitement right to the very end. After that meltdown, Djokovic composed himself well to break immediately. Now it was up to Federer to respond and try to reclaim the momentum. Oh, lovely variation there. Oh, can you believe it? What a wonderful shot that was. That gives Federer a foothold in this deciding set. It was such a crucial game. Djokovic clearly venting his frustration, and after two more holes, Federer looked to be back in the groove. Oh, that is Federer at his very best. But Federer betrayed his tension with a double fault to hand Djokovic the advantage once again, and the title looked all but in the bag. Djokovic had steadied the ship, and after another good hold from the serve, Federer was serving to stay in the tournament. Would dearly love to get the break to seal the match. Djokovic has done it. He has successfully defended his title here at the BMP Paribas Open, beating Roger Federer in the final for the second consecutive year. I thought I've done everything really, really well from the beginning to the end, except a couple of, you know, uh, very uh, uncharacteristic double faults in a, in a very bad moment. You know, 5-4, I basically handed, handed the second set tiebreak to Roger, but, you know, credit, credit, for him, credit to him for fighting and, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to try to enjoy this win. I mean, it's, it's a great win, it's been a great tournament and it's going to give me a lot of confidence now. Djokovic equaled Federer's record haul of four titles in Indian Wells and in the process overtook coach Boris Becker as he became the 12th man in the Open era to capture 50 titles on the ATP World Tour.